Hello, I'm the Salty Redneck, and welcome back to another crossout video. Today I have for you what both this build, but also I'm going to be talking about some of the stuff with the new update. Uh, so yeah, I guess I'll go ahead and put a timestamp on screen for you to skip to if you want to see the battles. Anyway. Uh, first off is Omnis and Augers and Legs and stuff got buffed. Uh... In a video you'll see coming out this Friday, I was running a fairly lightweight spider using big rams, and a cohort mind dragger was having trouble dragging me. So yeah, that was interesting. Like it wasn't just immediately just catapulting me all over the place like they did before the update. Anyway. Uh... Omnis are now very, very nice. Uh, let's see here. I got this thing that I'll that I threw together for messing around. Uh, you, this is not Omni bugged. This is just how they accelerate now. Look at this. It's so smooth. Look at that. Look at that. It's so smooth. So smooth. Anyway. Also, you'll probably see a video on something like that later on. Because the new cabin is very, very insane. Anyway, uh, we're not talking about the new cabin today. Because I think it's honestly kind of a backseat to everything else they've done. Obviously, uh, Elf in the Room. The graphics are epic. Like, the graphics are very, very nice looking. Uh, I love the graphics. I love Omnis now. I need to work on a decent meat grinder build, because... Yeah. I got I got six of them, and I want to make something with them. Because they're cool. Anyway. So, yeah. Legs are buffed. Omnis are buffed. Tracks are buffed. Somewhat. They feel just a bit better than they did before. That's not like a massive buff to tracks. Uh... Also, see here, where is it? Uh, you saw me using it on stream, possibly on Monday. But, uh, I'll show it to you again, but they updated the look of the hardened tracks. They didn't used to have this, uh, this thingy in the middle. And they were, I don't know, they looked different before. But yeah. They look very nice. That's not the button I wanted. So yeah, uh, also... Let's see here... Uh, hovers are... Very strange now. It is... Rather hard to aim, at least for me. And if you're backing up, you're going to have a very difficult time shooting. But yeah. However, they now... The blue hovers can now... Well, this is maxed out at 75 because of the Nova Cabin, but... If I just... Uh, see here. If I just slap, say, uh, to show you the most insanity possible, let's, uh, where, where the, there it is, comic cabin. Oh, okay. Oh, well, that part's going to fall off, but look at how fast this is. 95 now. Look at this. This is... This is not okay. It's just utter insanity. Where did that build go? Oh, yeah. So, yeah. I really don't like the hoppers go 95 now. I feel like they really need 
to have stuck with their 75. Also, uh, I do have a complaint about the exhibition. I don't know if it's something that's just not working right or what, but if you uh, filter by part, say you wanted the new cabin, Catalina, that works, but then you want to add another part that you want to find Retcher Catalina builds. Then you find some Catalinas. However, you notice there's no Retchers on those. And this build that does have Retchers, if you look, Kami Cabin. So, yeah, filter tag part filter is not really working quite right. Quite right. Yeah, I don't know. Anyway, that's a complaint I have. But yeah, everything else I like for the most part. I really like the new damage numbers and stuff and that it tells you when you've disarmed someone or immobilized them, that sort of thing. Very nice. Very, very nice. I don't really like the UI. I don't know, it just kind of feels a bit too clean. It's kind of just my personal opinion though. I know other people like it a bunch. But yeah. I almost forgot to tell you about this build. Uh, we are using Omnis because they got buffed recently, obviously. We'll look this update. I should say not recent. Well, it's, you get that point. Anyway, we're using three Aerothrons. Uh, i to remove these because I don't have enough of those and it makes it lopsided. But anyway, we're using three Aerothrons. Uh, I, this is an Omni bug build, so it goes much faster. Although it ends up doing a weird little pirouette thing where it just spins out. Uh, see if it'll. Don't know if it's going to do it or not. You'll probably see it in the video later on in a battle or something, but. Oh, there it goes. There it goes. That's what I was talking about. It just does that randomly, and it's very annoying when that happens. But yeah, this build is going to be fun. Except when it spins out like that. Anyway, without further ado, let's get into some matches. And if you aren't already, please consider subscribing as it really helps me out. Okay, we are on Desert Valley, and I completely forgot to start the match like I usually do. Or introduce the map or whatever. Like I usually do. That's why we're like 20 seconds in. <laughs> okay, got that bot out. Oh yeah, there's now... Oh, it doesn't... That one didn't do it, but... There'll now be uh, like flaming husks of the vehicles left behind. Okay, uh... Cloaked thing. Oh no. I'm dead. And there's things everywhere. This is not going well. Hello and goodbye. I am out of here. I'll let the team handle this. I have one gun and I'm smoking. This is not good. Anyway, uh, at the start of the match, the uh, countdown timer to the start, it actually now has a ticking sound when it's counting down. So that's cool. Just a little detail that I noticed. Also, just look at this graphics and lighting. It's amazing. Okay, I'm going to go and try and help and probably get one shot. Yay, I got an assist. We are on East Quarter now. See how this goes. All right, there's Kenneth. Kenneth's down. Oh yeah, there's the flaming corpse that's left behind that I was telling you about. That's a her. Oh, 
is a bot. Panicked and thought it was a player. But yeah, those flaming corpses that get, or flaming husks, or wrecks, what, whatever I should call them, are really cool. Oh, hello. There's a lot of people here. And there I go pirouetting randomly. I'm just going to uh, be a distraction, I guess. All right. Awesome. Okay. I took out that bot. Ow. Hello. Well, this build is barely controllable. <laughs> I don't know if the update messed with the Omni thing, where you uh, have some of your Omnis raised slightly off the ground or not. It certainly feels like it does, because it, I mean, the build would do that before, but I don't remember it doing it this much and being this uncontrolled. But it's probably a good thing because the Omni thing's not really intended. We are on the Peaceful Atom map now. Oh yeah, speaking of maps, there's a new map, uh, Marble Quarry. It's really cool. I doubt we'll get it in this video, but perhaps you'll see it in another video later on. That is a lot of cannon bots. I just noticed that. Ah, oh, and there's the enemy cannon bot. What do you know? What do you know? Oh, okay, I just immediately popped it. Okay, then. Oh, there's Dave. Whose ammo packs are flaming. Awesome. Well, I just, uh... <laughs> it's very cool that it has that slaughter thing now. When you get three kills. Okay, well, all I got all of their bots. Oh, hello, Parser. I hate Parsers. They are so annoying. Oh, come on. I'm too close, really. And awesome. Well, I killed all the bots. You're getting self-destructed on. Also, this is how the self-destruct looks now, instead of a uh, red uh, light in your cabin. Why am I just... Why am I not spectating? Okay. Uh, okay, so the parser guy is gone. That's good. Uh, someone shoot. Okay, good. He's getting on cap. He really needs to just stay on there. There we go. Oh, that was a decent game. Alright, that's going to be all the matches for this video. Uh, I'm cutting it short just because of having the uh, bit talking about the update and whatnot. And yeah, uh, I'm not sure if this build is on the exhibition, but it is Chadothron 2. It is by Mathis Builder. So yeah, check it out. He builds some good stuff. Although I think this might have been somewhat screwed over by the update. Anyway. I hope you all enjoyed the video, be sure to like, share, and subscribe, and comment down below, all that stuff. If you wish to support me, I have a Patreon linked in the description, as well as a Discord server if you wish to check that out. And yeah, I will see you all in the next video. Salty out.